Hi everyone, this is Dave, and welcome to my awesome Geek Christmas gift guide. Now, the products that are sitting off to the left of me here have been carefully selected by me. If I received any of these on Christmas morning underneath the Christmas tree and I unwrap them, I would be extremely appreciative and I would be very, very happy indeed. Now, the first one I want to show you is from Nomad. It is their lightning cable. Now, it doesn't have to be a lightning cable that you're buying for the geek in your life. It could be a micro USB cable, uh, it could be a USB-C cable, or indeed a lightning cable. The thing I like about this one is that it's braided, very, very high quality, very robust, nice solid connections on the end, and Nomad have even thought of integrating this rubber cable tidy, so we can keep everything nice and organized and tangle free. And the reason this makes me smile is because I've got a lot of gadgets and I can never have enough charging cables. So if you've got a geek in your life, in your sort of circle of friends or family, then a device cable is a really nice sort of under the tree or stocking filler gift that you can buy for them. Now moving on, a mouse. A lot of people use laptops now and trackpads, but it is a known fact that a lot of the population prefer to use a traditional mouse. If you're traveling around with your laptop, then it's a really good option to have a portable mouse. And what I've got here is a mouse from Lenovo. This is their ThinkPad X1 wireless touch mouse. And just look at how small this is. If I unwrap this on Christmas morning, I'd be thinking that this looks absolutely space age, something from the future. It's like a little tiny wedge, very, very portable, and a superb little touch mouse. We've got proper clicky buttons, and it works wirelessly, and you can fit this in a pocket or a bag with ease. So something like this is a great little present for somebody that uses a laptop and they're on the move all the time. Now, I want to show you what came in this bag here. This is the Rocket Book Wave. When I first saw this, I thought you could play a prank with this, but a very mean prank. And when I told a couple of my family members, they said, you can't do that. Let me explain what it is first. So it's a notebook. We open up the notebook and we have got pages that has got sort of a very faint line of dots all over the page. We use the pen to make notes and then we can use an app to actually send these pages or pages of notes up to the cloud, to your favorite cloud service. And then when the book is completely full, you pop it in the microwave. Uh, I think it's with half a cup of water, put it on for 30 seconds, open the book up and all the pages are actually clear again. So you can use this as a brand new notebook, start making notes again, syncing them to the cloud and then repeat this time and time again. So this in theory should be the only notebook you ever need to buy. Now the prank that I thought you could do and it is very, very mean, not in the Christmas spirit, is give this to somebody like a student. They'd be making their notes and then you could stick it in the microwave and they'd be going crazy. So please don't do that. Buy this to somebody who likes to make lots of notes and wants to integrate them with the cloud. I just think it's a really neat little book. So do check this out. Again, this is awesome. I will use this a lot. And then of course I can make it like new with the microwave. So let's move on. This is a cool product. If I receive this on Christmas morning, I would be just so, so happy because I've got uh, a problem at the moment that I am trying to solve and this will solve it. This is the TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug. It allows you to remotely control something that's plugged into it. You can also do scheduling, energy mo monitoring as well, and you can set it to an away mode. So if you plug the lamp into this while you're away, it would actually turn the lamp on and off at various times. So it looked like somebody was still in. And in the corner of the studio that I'm recording this video in now, I have got a subwoofer. And the subwoofer is plugged in and I can't reach the power on switch on the back of the subwoofer. So I have to pull the chair out, which is quite a heavy chair, reach down and turn the subwoofer on before I can start watching a Blu-ray or testing some sort of audio visual equipment for the channel 
This is going to be plugged in now to my subwoofer. I can control it with my app. I don't have to reach down to that awkward place every single time to turn the subwoofer on. And that's what I'm gonna be using this for. And this just makes a great gift for the geek in your life. So let's move on. Now we have got something that's really quite difficult to buy for somebody. Uh, a watch, a timepiece. And the reason I say it's difficult to buy a watch for somebody is because it's quite a personal thing. They have to really sort of like the design and the aesthetics of a watch. This is from Spinnaker Watches, and I think it's really very, very nice indeed. Now, the reason I like this particular one is it's got a sporty feel to it. It's also a nice sort of small size, so it's not one of these big wrist watches that requires a big chunky fella to, to wear. This is really very, very small indeed. It's got a little bit of thickness to it, but the actual diameter of the watch is nice and compact. Also, it doesn't take batteries. This is an automatic watch. If you buy this for somebody, I think you're gonna intrigue them, especially if they don't own automatic watches already, purely because they can see the movement through the exhibition case back. It also comes with an additional strap, so they can swap that strap out for a NATO strap as well. And it just looks very, very nice and stylish. Uh, it doesn't cost too much. I'll leave a link to all of these products down in the video description. And I just think a watch is a very personal gift for somebody. So check this one out. Check out the other watches on the Spinnaker website and pick up a special timepiece for the loved one in your life. Uh, a great gift again. And if I receive this and unbox this on Christmas morning, I'll be super, super happy. So this next gift is from PrimeWire. I picked up this from Amazon for myself. So yes, I bought a gift for myself. I love upgrading my cables on my AV equipment. And this is a really high quality HDMI 2.0A. Whatever the latest version is, supports 4K, supports HDR, and it's a braided cable. Very, very nice quality. And again, I'd much rather receive this than a dozen pair of socks. So this is absolutely fantastic. If you wanna pick up a good HDMI cable, again, I'll leave a link to this one in the video description. Now this is the last gift I'm gonna show you. I've been saving the biggest one till last. And that's what a lot of us do on Christmas morning. We open up little presents, save the big one. This is the Anki Overdrive. Now, if you're my age, you'll remember back in the sort of 70s and 80s, and even sort of later than that, Scalextric. Now, Scalextric was fantastic. It was a plastic track. You had to click it together. You had to get it to work. You had to connect like power supplies. And you also had the problem of whizzing the cars around the track. And then when they got to a corner, they would shoot off and there'd be arguments. And then the connections wouldn't work. And then at the end of the day, you had to take it all down and really hurt your fingers. I remember sort of pulling those tabs out on the Scalextric and really having trouble getting the track apart. So the setup wasn't fun. The actual playing was great, uh, but it was frustrating at times as well. Well, this is the Anki Overdrive, and this uses just a flat track. The version previous to this I covered on the channel, you laid out a mat, and the whole mat covered the floor. This is sort of like a, more of a shaped track, and you can change the shape of the track. You can even add on sections like this. This is a two straight track pieces, which is called a speed kit. So this is where you can really pick up some speed while you're racing. And then the latest version also includes this. This is the X52 Super Truck. So you can now race not only cars, but you can race trucks around the track as well. And the reason the Anki Overdrive is superb is because it's controlled by an app on your smartphone. Also, there's no grooves for the cars to go into. You've also got weapons, so you can sort of shoot the car in front of you, and that sort of makes it slow down or disables it for a while. You can overtake, switch lanes. It's absolutely fantastic fun. This is a superb product, and this would make any kid or any sort of kid my age really smile on Christmas Day. I can highly, highly recommend it. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, wherever you are, have a fantastic Christmas. Enjoy the time you've got with your friends and family, and I'll see you all again in the new year.